This is your Altos Research Real Estate data for Monday, June 1, 2020, with the latest real estate analytics that came in over the weekend for the whole U.S. The headline for today is that the inventory of available homes for sale right now is at its lowest level ever, and home prices have surged to their highest level ever. There are fewer homes for sale on the market right now than any time since recording began. Altos Research was founded in 2006, and we've been tracking the U.S. housing market in real time since then. As demand for homes continues to outpace supply of new homes for sale, our available inventory keeps shrinking week over week right now. Normally, June is when we reach peak inventory and the transaction volume for the year. 2020 started the year pre-crisis at the fewest homes for sale ever. You can see in the bottom line on this chart. Each January, of course, is normally the, the fewest homes on the market. But because of the sales rate this week, we've dropped to only 719,000 single family homes for sale in the whole country. 66,000 new homes got listed this week, which is the top chart to the right here. The homes on the market are moving and they're not requiring price cuts. The, Price reductions in the U.S. is only at 23% this week. 23% of the homes on the market have taken a price cut in the last 90 days. Normally, that would be like 35%. As a result, though, home prices hit a new all-time high this week. The median home price in the U.S. is now $345,000. It's 1.5% higher than last year at this time. The price of the newly listed cohort, the orange line here, is climbing in tandem each week with the overall market. Normally, as we roll into June, the new listings start backing off a bit. And you can see each the year over year in the orange line here. People price people coming to market now typically price to move before the end of the summer. But that's not happening yet. This is obviously good news for homeowners, especially those who are in the mortgage forbearance right now. Around 4 million Americans are in some stage of either not paying their mortgage or planning to not pay if necessary. Since home values are up, though, that means equity is up people are retaining their wealth and that's a good thing as always visit altosresearch.com for complete details on the data please share this video for people who need to see it we're working hard to keep the real estate professionals and the consumers actively informed about the rapidly changing u.s real estate market there's a lot of uncertainty out there and the data is super valuable to help people make the right decisions. Thank you. More next week. We'll look at it again.